Hey guys, so today we're gonna be taking a look at the Tundra TDO2E. This is an all-in-one liquid cooler from Silverstone, and um, I was originally looking at getting uh, H100i version two, uh, but I was like, you know, let's get something, because it seems like everybody gets an H100i. So I decided to look around a little more, and I found uh, the TDO2E from Silverstone, and it seemed like a really good deal, so I decided to pick it up. It was cheaper than the, um, than the Corsair one, and so I'm like, why not? And the build quality seems really nice. So let's do an unboxing real quick, and then we'll, after that, we'll do some other stuff. Um, so a little manual that you probably actually will want to read, because these aren't the easy, I mean, like, they're pretty straightforward to install, but still, you want to probably look through that. So it looks like we have uh, two fans here. These are high static pressure fans. So these are optimized for like on radiators and stuff. So they're gonna, they're not gonna move as much air, but they're gonna have a lot of static pressure. Okay, so after running it for a little while, I found that um, the stock coolers or, or the stock fans are really loud. Um, they do a pretty good job cooling, but their minimum RPM is like 1500 or something like that. I think it's like, yeah, 1500 RPM. So I have two Fractal Design Venturi fans here, and we're gonna, uh, we're gonna try to install these on there instead. And I would like to install them on, on top of my radiator uh, instead of below, because I it, it my, P, my case is kind of small, and I didn't want them to take up space uh, covering the window. So I'm gonna try to install them. It, we have to get new screws and stuff, so I don't know how that's gonna work. We'll try that too. So let's get started on that right now. All right, so this is the cooler inside my PC right now. I think it looks pretty nice in here. Um, it has like this, so there's the cooler and then I have the tubes right here. And this is the radiator. And the radiator, I don't know if you can see in the video, but it has like this carbon fiber look to it um, on these and the fans mount on here. And so these fans are kind of loud, that's the only thing. They do move a lot of air, but they're pretty loud. And so that's why I wanted to swap them out. And also because I put the window on here, I don't know if you can see that very well, but the fans kind of block the window and you can't really see the motherboard very well. So I'd like to move the fans up above into this area up here, if that's at all possible. Um, they should fit maybe. Before I do that, I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of a volume test. So I'm gonna set the microphone to a set volume, I'm not gonna have it adjust the volume dynamically. I'm gonna set the microphone to a set volume and I'll keep it at the same uh, volume for both tests so you can get an accurate comparison. And I don't have like a sound meter or anything like that, so, okay, sorry. But I have, you can just see how, how much of a difference in noise there is. So I'm gonna set that up right now and I'll set the microphone volume to be the same for both. So here's what it sounds like with the, pan the side panel off uh, and we're gonna start up and we'll let it run for a little while. Now, I don't know if you guys know what Fractal Design Venturi fans are, um, and there's lots of, there's videos about them, but I figured just because I'm installing them, I'll tell you a little about them. So these are, um, high, these are the high pressure versions, high static pressure version fans, and they're supposed to be really nice fans from Fractal Design. These are like Fractal Design's top of the line fans. They aren't quite as good as Noctua's, um, in some, in some areas, but they're like five bucks less than Noctua's per fan, so. They're a little bit cheaper, so it's okay. And Noxuas are like gray, or not, not gray, they're like uh, tan and brown, and that didn't really match my system at all, so these are just all black, so I decided to pick these up. Um, so in the box you get the little mounting screws, and then you get a fan splitter, which is nice. And then these fans are supposed to have really good static pressure, um, really quiet. They have an FD, FDB bearing, um, they're designed really well, they have really good um, build quality, and they're PWM, so they're supposed to be able to, um, they, they, should be, they should be good for our application here. One reason I chose these is because these can go to a minimum RPM of 400, uh, some, like these fans can only go to a minimum RPM of like 1500, so a minimum RPM of 400 is a lot better, because that's when I'm just idling, I don't have to have these fans that are really loud, these can be spinning really slowly. Um, so they have a nice braided cable here, uh, rubber rubber around the edges to like dampen the vibrations and then just like a well-designed uh, solid body the body feels really nice like it's not doesn't feel like it's going anywhere and then um, like fancy like 
aerodynamic stuff going on with the blades and things. So I think these should be solid, a solid choice for what we're doing here. So the plan is to put the two fans right there, right there. I don't think they should fit, so I think we are going to install them there. Alright, let's, let's see if this works. You need a bigger case. I don't know yeah, why I know. You're such a wimp. It's not going to work. You won't get enough bite. I might. We'll see. No. How do you know this is where to put it, though? Thank God for these being made out of rubber so they could squish down, because otherwise they aren't tall enough to... Uh, the screws aren't tall enough um, for the fans to mount through this... with this metal piece in the middle. Wow, okay, so I just did a test with these things. These are... Oh, whoops. These are dead silent. These make, like, zero noise whatsoever. Of course, they're idling, so... Alright, so I got the top panel back installed and I think I hooked the fans up all correctly. I'm having a weird thing with like, I'm getting a PWM reading from the fans that don't have PWM, which is really weird. I don't know why I'm getting that. I may have hooked the fans up wrong, but I'm not going to take it apart to figure it out because it's it's just a hassle. So I'm fine with it now. It's running quiet. Um, so I figured we'd do the other sound test now. So I'm going to do the exact same um, location and microphone. Uh, sensitivity as I did for the first sound test, and then we can compare the volume of the two. So after having the uh, TDO2E for about a week, the cooler, um, I like it, I like it. There are some issues I have with it though. So my my final like, conclusion on this thing would be, it's a very, it has very good build quality, the radiator's nice, it includes, um, it includes fans that are decent, you know, they get, they move air, enough air, um, but they aren't very quiet either. Uh, but for the price point, I think this is good because this is about $90 compared to something like a H100i or something like that, which is over 100 I think it's like 120 right now or something like that. So considering this is a good 40 bucks, 30 bucks cheaper than something like a Corsair cooler or um, something like an NZXT Kraken, I think it's a good, I think it's a good option. Um, it doesn't have, P it doesn't have software control over fans, it doesn't have RGB lighting, it doesn't have any of that kind of stuff. But I think it does, it has good build quality and it does its job really well for the price. You might want to pick up some other fans because all well, the fans it comes with are nice. You know, I showed you these um, and they, I don't know if white is your color, but I guess they come with white fans. Um, they work and they move a lot of air, but they're kind of noisy. So I decided to pick up some um, Venturi fans and those have fixed uh, the volume by quite a bit. Um, so now to temps, which you guys probably been wanting the whole video. I probably should have said this earlier so you don't have to watch this long. But I'm going to tell you temps now. Um, just going into this, I'd let you know that I have an i5-4690K and it's overclocked to 4.2 gigahertz. So if you aren't overclocking, oh yeah, and it's overclocked all the time, it's always running at 4.2 gigahertz. So if you aren't overclocking, then you're probably going to get lower temps than this. Um, but these are my temps overclocked. Another thing is, I don't have my fans, uh, Turn, like I don't have them spinning very quickly because I prefer to have less noise and a little bit higher temps than um, more noise and lower temps. So you could definitely speed up your fans and get lower temperatures. But right now with the factory design Venturi's in there, I idle around I'm gonna say 30 to 35 degrees Celsius um, with with the fans running at like 400 RPM, so really slow. Uh, you could probably idle in the in the 20s, 25s if you sped up your fans and didn't overclock. You could probably get down into the high 20s um, for idle, which is really nice. And then when I ran Ida 64 for I think it was 20 minutes straight, I, the highest temperature I got to was like 80 degrees Celsius, and that might seem kind of high. But remember, keep in mind my fans are spinning uh, very slowly, and I have an overclock. So you could easily get those temperatures lower if you sped up your fans and you didn't overclock. Um, 
But I think the temps on it are very good for the price. I think that it, it it's not the coolest in terms of like, it doesn't have the most cooling capacity of any cooler. Um, but I think that with the build quality and the price, it's a good option. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this week's video. Uh, if you did, you can, you know, today you can like, you can hit dislike, all that kind of stuff down there. Um, and you can also subscribe if you liked it. We're getting close to, we're like at 350 right now. Let's see if we can get to 400 sometime soon. Uh, the subscriber growth recently has been awesome, so thank you guys for that. Um, and you can check out some of the other videos if you want to. I'll, we'll be, you can just click on the channel and you can see all the videos. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next week. Alright, bye.